Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm back with another wonderful paint set from the Army Painter. I just bought this from a local online store because my local stores just didn't receive it yet. And I was just too impatient and couldn't wait for that to happen. So, here it is. I've seen people review these already, kind of, but I want to do my own take on it because I love Army Painter paints. It's pretty much what I use. I use some Citadel Contrast once in a while, but this is what I use. Now, look at this. You get, what is it? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 paints. Well, washes and paints and a mixing medium uh, to do realistic skin tones. So you're actually looking at all the skin tones, which were, you know, you're always trying to figure out that perfect skin tone when you're, you're painting your miniature. And it just seems like it's, it's just almost impossible sometimes. But... Like it, it tells you how to do it all this. You can make your own skin tones. Uh, you can use a pigments paint to change the color of the skin tone. So you can use like the uh, garnet pigment, the pearl pigment, or the obsidian pigment to make, let's say you want Dorado skin darker, you can put it there. You want more of a red hint, you know, whatever you want to do, you just add a little drop to it. And then if you, it comes with bottles. So if you make your own color that you really like, you can mix like a half and half of it and just put it in a bottle. Now already there's not much paint in there, so uh, I think it's just better to put it on a wet palette and use it from there. Uh, using these, I might use these actually for um, other paints, maybe even some Citadel stuff and fill it up in there and say, we'll see what that goes. That's okay. So anyways, what you're waiting for is to see what is inside. Let's get to that now, if I can. Oh, we got two boxes, it looks like. Oh, we got some paper, more paper. As well. Okay, well, of course, we've got the free Army Painter painting guide. They've actually changed this. It's glossy now. It's not just cardboard or paper. Like, it's really nice. I wonder if they've changed the insides. I haven't read this in a while. I'll take a look at that. And of course, if you have any issues, and you know what? They are amazing at fixing issues. You contact them, and even though we're in Canada here, they just refund you usually. Uh, the amount of what you pay for something that's broken, you just send them a picture and tell them what happened. And uh, yeah, so. All right, let's start with the first one. So here's your four bottles, you know, uh, that are empty. And there's that uh, War Paints Mixing Medium. So this, I think, just makes it a little bit lighter. Sort of like a, becomes like a contrast paint, I guess. I've, I've never really used mixing mediums. I think, I don't know. I'll take a look and see how that is. Uh, here's the three washes. So we have a dark skin wash. So I'm assuming to use this on dark skin. Maybe you could use it on light to give it a dark hue, maybe, or dark tones. Soft skin wash, pretty cool. And a strong skin wash. Now supposedly these are unique. These are not like the dark wash and the strong wash and the soft wash at all, or nor the flesh wash. These are three unique washes. And you use them, uh, they would suggest just using them on skin, nothing more. So that's pretty cool. And we have one of the pigment toners, Obsidian. So that's kind of cool. You just put that in one of the other colors. You get a bit of a darker color here. You have the Pearl Pigment Toner. So that's the same kind of thing. Except it's going to get more lighter. So if you want the dark, but not too dark. And it's kind of cool. Now they give you some beads. Now how many do they give you in here? One, two, that's going to be hard to count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Well, they actually give you 20. Well, they give you actually enough for each bottle. Because in the Metallics one, they didn't give you enough of these mixing balls for their Metallics paints. So now one of each can go in these, um, including the four that you make. So, but there's 16 bottles. Actually, they give you more. So that's actually better because there's only really, I believe, what is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine real paints. And then there's a three toners. And so you get the moment. Let's keep looking anyway. So that's that thing. And then, of course, like... You can buy all their other stuff. Like, why not get a whole shelf of our paints and primers and stuff? I pretty much own every primer they have. <laughs> Anyways. And then a whole color range, which I pretty much have. You know, I should look at this and see what I'm missing. <laughs> all right, so we've got some mocha skin. So that's going to be a nice color. Interesting. I don't want to open it too much, but oh yeah, okay. It's almost, it's a nice brown, chocolate brown color. 
Of course, you have the onyx skin, so very dark skin. Uh, uh, you know, that's pretty cool. Oh, here's the other pigment. So it's the Garnet Pigment Toner. So this is to make it a little bit more red, your skin tone, I guess. You have the Tiger's Eye Skin. This looks more, it sort of reminds me of um, Chaotic Red a little bit. But again, these are unique colors. They do not have this in their paint range. Uh, Jasper Skin. So that's, it's, it's, that looks like just like a normal, like your tanned. Even though they have tanned flesh in their war paints, it doesn't give the, the, the color you want for flesh. Opal Skin. This is like white. This is like me. <laughs> I'm Opal. I, I'm not that white. I'm a little tanned. I think I'm amber. There we go. That's probably what I am if I compare it. Let's see. So if you look at like real skin color, like you can see that's pretty close. I mean, that's that's white. You know, like that's, yeah, that's cool. Let's get a little tan. It's like you spend this day in the sun or something. And you have Dorado skin, which I think, yeah, it's a little bit more pink than the amber skin. So that, that, that almost feels very close to human, like regular, normal, every regular flesh. Topaz skin. More of a pink to it, I think. Oh, there's one, ruby skin. Like, this is really pink. This is kind of cool because there's one that's like centaur flesh or centaur skin. It's kind of close to this, but again, these are unique paints. So you won't get this anywhere else. You have to buy it in this paint set. Now, I don't know if they're going to allow stores to sell these individually at some point. I mean, you're going to run out of this. If you run out of, let's say, Ruby Skin, you can't buy the whole thing again, right? Anyways, so let me think what you guys think of this. Um, write in the comments below if you like these paint sets, if you like the Army Painter paints, if you like any other paint sets. And, uh, yeah, so if you're new to the channel as well, hit that subscribe button. And I want to thank again all my subscribers at the moment for letting me hit that 100 target of subscribers. That is amazing, and our next goal is 500. So we'll see you in the next one.